use your remote all the time like I do, I'd recommend giving this video a watch because basically in this video I cover that anything this remote can do, this Alexa doc can do. Alright, take a look. Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. There you go. It's about to turn on, it kind of takes a while to come on, but, um, okay. Alexa, turn on Greg's Netflix. Well, basically the same sensor that's in this remote, we can use to send our own signals with a Wi-Fi module. Alright, so that looks sounds a little confusing, but let's see what we need to get this started. Here's the Wi-Fi module. This is an Arduino Uno, or you can replace it with an AtTiny85 microcontroller. Here's an IR transmitter. 100 ohm resistor to use with the transmitter. And an IR receiver. And of course, the Amazon Alexa. Plug the Wi-Fi chip into the into your PC. Now open up your internet and go to my GitHub, which I linked in the description. You're going to go to the ESP Wemo repository. Um, I list the steps that you need to do in order to get this to work. Um, first, we're going to download all three of these libraries. So here's the first library. We're going to download the zip. Here's the second one, UDP, we're going to download that zip. And finally, we're going to go to the last one, um, go to Downloads, and Download Repository. Um, next, you're going to unzip all these files. Um, I put them into my own folder, so I'm going to copy these, Control c Then I'm going to go over to my Documents, Arduino, find the Libraries folder, and I'm going to paste these in here. Looks like I already have it in there, I'm just going to replace the files. Next, I'm going to go back to the internet, um, back to my GitHub page, and I'm going to download my own repository, which has both of the sketches in it. Um, for the Wi-Fi module, we're going to be using ESP8266 Alexa, and for the other one, for the uh, Arduino, we're going to use the other one. So now we're going to open up the IDE, and here's the sketch here. So I broke it down by parts. Here's the Wi-Fi credentials, your ID, your password. You don't need to touch that section. Here's where we map out which pins are going to do what. Um, here's just a quick overview. You can also look it up online, the outputs. But you're going to be use the GPIO pins. Um, here's the initialization. I don't need to touch that. Here's where you actually name each device. So I have TV, Greg's Netflix, Sleep, in the Office. Um, you don't have to touch the callback message. Um, here's what happens when each one is called. Um, so here for TV, it reads the state. If it's on, it writes high, and if it's off, it writes high also because um, TV on and off send the same signal. Um, next for Greg's Netflix, we do it normally where on is high, off is low. We do that for each one. Next, here's the actual function handle. Uh, because it's just a pulse, I delay for 500 seconds, and then I write it to low. Now let's go to tools, board, we're going to set it to node MCU. You might have to go to your board manager to download that. Um, you want to choose your port once you have it connected and upload that to your ESP module. Now we can open the Alexa app on your device. Go to your smart home and you're going to click add devices and it should come up with each device you name where it does here, it finds all four of them. Um, now what I did was I mapped out each LED to each pin um, for, or each device. So you can see me testing it here. Alexa, turn on TV. Okay. Alexa, turn on Greg's Netflix. Okay. Alexa, turn on The Office. Okay. Alexa, turn on sleep. Okay. Okay, now we're going to set up the Arduino connected to your PC. Uh, we're going to go back to my GitHub page, or I guess you don't have to. Uh, we're going to be using this um, sketch right here. Um, so open up your IDE. Here's the sketch. Um, first, I define which pins are going to do what because I have four devices, four pins, initialize it. Um, here is where you write the actual code. 
basically the first one is the power code um, on the next one so for example for the office um, I press enter up 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 right enter enter and that will turn on the office now I do a similar operation for the sleep timer I record all my clicker hits and put the codes here in my previous video I go over how to actually record those clicker hits Now go to Tools, change the board to Arduino Uno, and choose your port for that device, and upload this sketch to your Arduino Uno. Now I'm gonna construct the circuit here. There's the Wi-Fi module with the IR transmitter and the resistor. We're gonna supply power to the chip. Here's the schematic for that, it's an easier view. Feel free to pause the video. Now I'm going to map out each of the outputs of the Wi-Fi module to the inputs of the Arduino. I'm going to supply it with power. This is what it looks like at the end in prototype. Now we're going to test it. Alexa, turn on TV. Okay. Alexa, turn on Netflix. Couldn't find Alexa, any enabled turn on Greg's Netflix. Okay. Alexa, turn on the office. Okay. Notice how the clicker hits in my sketch before navigate perfectly to my Netflix list and one over for the office. Alexa, turn on sleep. Okay. I did a similar trial and error to figure out how to put on sleep for one hour. Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. Now I know this kind of looks like a big mess. There's so many wires hanging everywhere. So what I did instead was I put it onto a little board like this. Basically, I used that at tiny device instead of the Arduino. So this is how I did it. I made this little bootloader for at Mega, at Tiny's, different types of chips. Um, this plugs right onto the Arduino like a shield. Next, you just take your at Tiny chip and you plug it into the slot that says at Tiny 85. Now I can program that chip using the Arduino. I'll cover this in a later video. But for now, you can just use the Arduino. Let me know what you thought of my video in the comments below. If you were confused about the IR section of this video, uh, be sure to check out my tutorial on that on my channel. Other than that, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos and hopefully I'll be uploading more projects soon.